welcome viewers today we are going to discuss semantic series in the previous episodes we discussed about number semantic series letter semantic series or alphabetic semantic series and different types of questions today we are going to see a new type of semantic series that is repeated letter series generally the sequence or the series will be repeated twice thrice or even four times also but the repetition follows some pattern in this type of questions student has to observe how the pattern is repeating how these letters are arranged to recognize the answer in this question the series is b gap ab gap b gap ab ab if you see this entire series in this entire series you have only two letters that is a and b so now what we have to do in this in this type of questions to get answer very fast so first student has to count how many letters are there in this particular series here there are starting with b there are 3 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so there are total 12 letters are there so in this 12 letters how we can write the series we can write either four parts repeating three times or three parts repeating four times it means we will divide this particular series either in three letters into four parts or four letters into three parts in this question b gap a is one particular part b gap b and gap a a is one part and b gap b is one more part so now what we have to do after this division after this division student has to check for the common thing that is going on student has to check for common what is the common here see the first part that is b gap a is there any other particular box or block having repeating in the same way here b gap a see the next part is b gap b so this can't be common but you come to third one gap a a means in the first box and the third box might be common in the same way the second one and fourth one might be common for example if you see here b gap a here gap a a if i put a here and if i put b here these two will be same that is b a a here also b a a it means both are same so till now we got answer a no one gap is there between then b again we are having gap so what is your answer your answer is first one letter should be a third letter should be b the moment you see this option d is eliminated because here a and b so here a is there here also b is there here also a is there here also b is there here also a is there here also b is there now to make the remaining two common you have to fill with the same letter either a or b means if i fill a here here also a here also a then bab here also bab then our answer become aa ba okay or we know that here answer is a gap b gap or if we fill with another letter for example if i fill keep with b if i keep b here here also b then b b b here also b b b then your answer will become b and b so now your answer is either first one or the second one check the option in the option you are having option b so b is the answer because second one shows a triple b so in this question what we did we simply divided the question into parts and after seeing the parts we check for the common so student has to always check for the common how many letters are repeating how they are repeating next question first i said that you have to count how many letters are there in this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 are there so whenever 16 letters are there we can divide like four blocks repeating four times or eight blocks repeating two times or two blocks 
repeating eight times. So these are the possible things. Now, for example, now in this sixteen, I will always start with four blocks repeating four times because in the examination there is always probability that he will ask four blocks repeating four times for many questions. So let's try to divide this into four four parts. One, two. Three, four. Now, what is the next thing we have to do after the division? You check for the common. You check for the common. So, what is the common here? Gap A A B here. Here, see gap A. I can't keep here. Here B is there. Here it should be A. So, I can't take this as a common. Here, gap A A B. So now there is a chance that these two might be common. So try to fill it with a letter now. If I keep here B, it become B A A B. Here also, if I fill with A, B A A B. So now these two are common. Obviously, when these two are common, the remaining these two is also will be common. So what is this one? A B gap A, A B gap A. So you keep here A. Here you keep here B. It will become A B B A. Here also A B B A. So we got the Answer that is B B A A is the answer. So that is option A is the answer. So in this question also, first you divide, and next thing is check for common. You will get answer very fast. Otherwise, there is another way is also there. The another way is you fill all the options. First of all, you fill the option A. You check for any common repetition is there or not. Then if answer A option A is not the answer, then you have to go with option B. Then again, in the option B also, you fill it in the gap, and again check for the repeating that is going on. So it consumes lot of time in the exam. So to avoid this time, generally we follow this method. In this type of question, generally by seeing, by looking at the question, you have to get the answer. Because I already said that in the examination, you should go, you should get the answer within 36 seconds. If you look at this particular question, there is a repetition is there. So total how many letters are there and how they are repeating? First thing you have to see that. For example, if you see here, G G, E E, F F, again G G. So if you see in this particular question, two letters are repeating adjacently. So now what we will try to do? We will try to fill that gap. For example, see here, here one F is there, so obviously we fill with F. So F F G G. Now there is a gap is there. Adjacent you have e letter, so you have to repeat twice. So fill it with e. Now here g is there, so again fill with g. So twice repeated. E e f f again here also e e then f f then g g. So your answer is f e g e f. Answer B. So always don't try to divide. So what I'm saying is, if you compare with the previous questions, in the previous question what we did. We counted everything. After counting, we divided accordingly, and we checked for the common. So this is the normal process. But for all the questions, this is not the method. Why? Because some of the questions, by looking at the question, you should be in a position to predict the answer. The example is this particular question. By seeing, I know that two two letters are repeating. So just to fill that particular letters, you will get the answer. In this particular series, I already said that first you count the number of letters. If I count the number of letters, there are total sixteen letters. So these sixteen letters can be divided into four blocks, and these four blocks may repeat four times. Total sixteen letters. So first, what I will try to do, I will try to divide in, into four blocks. Now, after repeating into four blocks, check for the common. So what is the first block? The first block is A B gap A, so A B gap A. Now here also check the with second block A. Here it is not A, so I can't I can't get common. Here A B gap A. So the possibility is here also A B gap A. So here also I, I may get the common. But if you see here also A B gap A. So there are possibility is these two might be common, or these two might be common. So once you get the common, you try to fill with the letters. That is here B B gap A. 
here also B B gap A. So here also gap here also gap is there. Now here A B gap A, here also A B gap A. But what I can get is I am getting only the center one that is B, and here also two letters are there. Here also two letters are there. So from the option I will come to know that your answer may be D. So once you fill with the D and cross check whether it is possible or not. That is A B C A. B B C A, B B C A, and A B C A. See the repetition here. It's a bit difficult question, but why I said that by taking common, even if you know one particular letter, we can get to a conclusion in this particular cases. In this case, in this case, it is like A B C A means here two letters are repeating in this one. Again B B C A, again B B C A, then. A B C A, so A B C A A B C A common, B B C A B B C A is common. So I got answer as option D. So in this way, by find out in the common, we will get the answer. So in this question also, first you will try to find out how many letters are there. In this particular series, three, six, nine, twelve. Total how many are there? Twelve are there. So when there are twelve letters, the possibility is four blocks repeating three times or three blocks repeating four times. So these two possibilities are there. First, I will check with three blocks repeating four times. If I am not getting answer with three blocks repeating four times, then I will check with four blocks repeating three times. Okay. So first, I will try to divide it into three three blocks. Now. What is the second thing I have to do after division? After division, I will check for the common. So, what is the common here? C gap A. Now, this particular block C gap A is common with any other block. You need to check out. With the second block, it is not common because it's starting with B. Third block, not possible because it's starting with A. And again, the last one. So, there is a possibility that the first and last might be common. So, obviously, when these two are common. The remaining two blocks, that is, A gap C and A gap B, there also there might be a common here. But the problem here it is, C gap A and C gap A is common, but B gap C and A gap C these two are not common. So I always said that when it is not common, we can't apply this method. So generally we will apply this method when there is a common only. Okay. Now what I can do? Because common I am not getting with the common. So what I will do next? I will check with the four blocks repeating three times, and I will see. So I am dividing into four. Again here also. Four, one, two, three, four. Now is there any common here? You need to check out. Here C gap A B, C gap A B. So here C gap A B. Here also C gap A B. So C C A B, C C A B. B C what? What is the next one? Here I don't know. Here I don't know. So I can't follow this particular method. So when I cannot follow this particular method, what to do? So there is again the next one is I know that if you check this particular series, there are three letters that are repeating. What are the three letters? That is A, B, and C. So what I will try to do is I will try to fill. With these three particular letters in that three particular block. So first, I will try to divide into block one block, second block, and third block. After repeating, what I will do? I will try to fill with either A or B or C. In the first block, already C is there and A is there. What is missing? I am B. So I will keep B. In the second block, B is there, C is there. What I am missing? I am missing A. So keep A. In the third block, A and B is there. I'm missing C. In the fourth block, C gap A is there. I'm missing B. So your answer will be B A C B. So B A C B is answer. It's a big tricky question. Why? Because you are not getting any particular repetition here. So in repeated letter series, you should get a particular repetition. But in this case, you are not getting any kind of repetition. So whenever you are not getting any repetition, so try to check. The how many letters are there? How many types of letters are there? In this case, there was three types of letters. That is, A, B, and C. 
Now after dividing into 3, 3 blocks because we are having only 3 letters, you just fill the missing letter out of these 3 letters, you might get the answer very fast in the examination. So let us check with next question. In this particular question, the traditional way that we follow, always we will try to count how many are there. So after counting, we divide into blocks and now we will check how many blocks are repeating and how they are repeating. So this is the process I already said. So we normally follow the process. If you are not getting the answer with that process, then we will follow the next method that is how many types of letters are there and all this stuff. Okay. Now see here, how many letters are there here? Just count here and first. See here, 14 letters are there. So the question is how you divide these 14 letters. So there is 7 blocks repeating twice or 2 blocks repeating 7 times. So if you see this one, I am not getting a proper clarity here. Yes or no? Or the other way is like 3 blocks repeating 4 times and extra you may add like this also. But if you are keep on writing all this in the exam, the question, it will take lot of time and the question will become so tricky for you. So instead, whenever it, it is not following the traditional way of blocks, now look at the question once. If you look at the question once, what is the key idea that you will get from this question? What is the key idea that you will get from the question? If you see here, what is the key in this case is, the key is B's. How many B's are repeating? Here also see, 1, 2, 3, here entirely 4 blocks B's are repeating. Here also B, B, so here also B, here also B, so there are lot of B's are there. So what I feel is there is a repetition of A and B. Moreover, in this case, how many letters are there? Only two letters are there. What are those two letters? Only A and B. Even there is no C also. So the repetition will be in the A and B only. So when the repetition is A and B only, I will try to fill with these two letters and I will find out whether I am getting any series or any repetition or any pattern. Now what I will do is, I am having only two letters A, B. So first I will fill with A here. The moment I will fill with A here, I got A, B is one series. What is the next thing I said? I all said that here the more Bs are repeating. So there is a chance of repetition of B. So what I already, in the next block, already I am having A. So what I will try to do is, I will try to fill with B. So A, B, B. So two Bs I got. See the next one here. Already A is there, B is there. So again fill with B. So A, three Bs and one more block. Again we are having A, A with B, 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 B and 4 Bs. So what is the pattern that is following? First block is A, B. The second block is A, B, B. One B extra added. What about in the third block? A, B, B, B. So 3 Bs added. Next one, 4 Bs added. So A is single and he is keep on increasing B from one block to the next block. So this kind of pattern he is following. So your answer will be A, B, B, B. So answer is option B. So in this type of questions, you cannot divide into blocks and you check for the common, not possible. Whenever this is not possible, what student needs to do? He needs to see how many types of letters are there. In this case, there are only two types that is A and B. By filling this A and B, I find out the answer. So in the same way also, you have to follow in the exam to get the answer within 36 seconds. Otherwise, it takes lot of time. I always said that you can do this particular question by another method also. How? By substitution method. You have to substitute option A and check whether there is any common or repetition is going on. Then check option B. And again, you find out whether there is a repetition or not. Again, fill option C and option D. So it takes lot of time in the examination, unnecessary time waste. The cost benefit will be very, very poor if you follow from the options. So don't follow option method because the cost benefit will be very, very poor because in that time you can solve extra three or four another questions. See the next question. In this particular question, see the question. The moment you see the question, the question is very big question. The moment you see this question in the examination, don't get panic. What is the clue here? There is a clue in this particular series. What is the clue? The clue is all the letters given are B. All the letters are given are B. So whenever you see this one, very big one, and all the letters are of same kind, don't divide into blocks. Instead, go through the options. That will be a better one. For example, if you see option A. In the option A, all Bs are there, and again ending with A. So if I keep on filling with B, everything with B, 
and final with a i will not get any kind of series this is not possible because there is no repetition or there is no pattern is following so i can't go with option a so the moment you see option a you just eliminate the option a now go with option b in the option b also you fill with bb so entire b repetition is there followed by a a and again a and again b so the moment you see this you won't get any kind of pattern so now you fill with c that is ab ab and ab so here ab here ab and here also ab the moment you fill it you come to know that it's only two letters what are the two letters a and b and now with these two letters how the examiner is repeating the question we can find out how he is repeating the question see here a followed by four b's here also a then followed by you have four b's here also a again followed by four b's so i already said this type of question that is whenever you have only two letters that is a and b so you try to check the repetition directly so even you no need to divide the question also so whenever there are like three or four then you try to divide into blocks and you try to get the answer so this also a lengthy question so whenever the question is lengthy it, it assumes like it seems it is bit tough but we can solve it very easily one is by recognition directly because if i see directly i will come to know that there is a repetition of two two letters that is cc here cc here here bb here so i may feel that somewhere he is repeating two two times okay that i can get in my mind but generally i said that here if you see the letters there are three types of letters that is a b and c so when there are three types of letters are there so i will count i will try to divide and i will check for the common here so now see here total how many letters are there count it total 20 letters are there so how can i divide this 20 letters i can divide like five blocks repeating four times or four blocks repeating five times again four blocks repeating five times will give more repetition so i will start with now five blocks repeating four times so i will try to divide this question into five letters into four blocks this is one block this is one more block this is one more block and again 1 2 3 4 5 so five blocks repeated four times what is the next thing i have to do i have to check for common so what is the common here b gap c c a so this first block should be common with the either second third or with the fourth block so let's try to check that b gap c c a here it is not possible here it is also not possible so there is a possibility here that is b gap c c a so now here b b c c a here also b b c c a the moment you see this you know that the repetition pattern now what is the repetition here b b c c a last one also b b c c a so now you try to fill the middle one that is c c a a b and a a b b c so now see the repetition here b b c c a c c a a b a a b b c and b b c c a so if the repetition is perfect so now you go for the answer that is b a a b c is the answer option a b a a b c is the answer now next question look at the question here what is the clue i already said that the first thing in the reasoning is observation skill here the moment i see the question there is something that is keep on repeating that is he see here d d d is repeating here also b b b is repeating so again here also a repeating twice here also c repeating twice then later b repeating thrice and also d repeating thrice so what i have to do is by seeing this question i come to know that the repetitions are increasing initially two repetitions like a a or c c then later b repeated three times then d also repeated three times the moment i see this the repetitions are increasing that's what i have to get in my mind so once i will get that idea so total how many letters here only three letters what are they a b c and i will try to fill these three letters and i will try to get the answer see the first one here a gap c so i will try to keep b a b c d so i will try to increase the letters also see the pattern is very same that is there are the repetition is increasing that's what i find out what is that one 
initially A A, then C C only two two repetitions, finally B B B three repetitions, D D D three repetitions. So the logic is the repetitions are increasing. After this, I find out that there are four letters are there. What are they? A B C D. These are four letters are there. So now try to fill with these letters A B C D and get the answer. So first one see here B. The moment I fill B, A B C D is the answer. So this becomes one block. And see the next one now. Repetition is increased. That is A A, then B B, then C C, then D D. So repetition increased. What about the next one? Three times. Now the repetition increased by one. So A A A. B B B C C C and D D D. So in this case, I am not dividing the question into blocks and doing the stuff because the moment I see the question, the first observation is the number of repetitions are increasing. Whenever the number of observations are increasing, see the types of letters. How many letters total? Four types of letters A B C D and fill that four types of letters accordingly. Then you will get the answer in this type of questions. We discussed about. the repeated letter series which is very important for the exam even the toughest questions can be done in the most simple way just by dividing it into blocks and observing the pattern thank you